Well, if you have to rush to the bathroom and you have a hard time going, first of all, that's a very common, uh, very common problem. Uh, the rushing to the bathroom part is caused by the symptom urgency. And urgency is part of a symptom complex that we call, that we call overactive bladder. So if you have to rush to the bathroom, there's only two possible generic causes. One is that you get the feeling like you have to go without there being any underlying reason. That's a hypersensitive bladder. And the second is because the bladder actually starts to contract by itself. We call that involuntary bladder contractions. So if you have the problem that, that you have a hypersensitive bladder, there's lots of different causes of that. Probably the most common in everyday life is just irritants that you drink. Uh, the most common culprit is coffee. Uh, there are other causes like urinary tract infection, even a blockage by a prostate or by a drop bladder uh, can cause the same problem. Uh, but why when, once you get there, if you have such a bad urge, you rush to the bathroom, why can't you go once you get there? Well, there are a few causes of that. Uh, probably the most common cause is simply that there isn't enough in your bladder to allow you to go easily. Ordinarily, in order to urinate easily or normally, the bladder has to have a certain degree of fullness to it. If you get an abnormal sensation before the bladder is very full, even though you feel like you have to go, when you get there, there's little in your bladder and you can't go very easily. Probably the most common cause of that is just a simple urinary tract infection. Uh, but again, prostate problems in men causing a blockage uh, can do it. A drop bladder in women uh, can cause exactly the same problem. Uh, another cause of uh, not being able to go is if there's uh, if the bladder itself is weak, and, and there's lots of causes for a weak bladder, the most common, though, are blockages that haven't been treated. And then finally, and this is redundant because I dealt with it uh, in answering the question already, but another reason why you might not be able to go is because of a blockage. And once again, the blockage in men is most likely due to a prostate problem, and in women, it's most likely due to a drop bladder or not uncommonly after surgery to correct urinary incontinence. Fortunately, no matter what the problem, we generally have an effective treatment. So just because you have the symptoms, you shouldn't get discouraged. See a doctor with a proper diagnosis, there's generally an effective treatment.